So, the Black Ops 4 beta just ended yesterday, and I'd like to talk about how I feel going forward with World War II as the fourth DLC turns around the corner. It should be here in a couple of weeks, but nobody seems to care. It's that bad. It, it seems like Black Ops 4 has obviously taken over the, uh, the hype train of... Call of Duty, and Battlefield 5 has got its fair share, even though a lot of people forgot about it. I mean, Battlefield players haven't, but obviously Call of Duty players have been focused on Black Ops 4, to where uh, I don't think a lot of them even realize Battlefield 5 is coming out. In November, I think it is? Maybe? Maybe they'll release it earlier. Who knows, because Black Ops 4 is coming out in October. So, I don't know. I forget when it comes out. So, as you probably know, I got invited to the Battlefield 5 Alpha earlier yesterday. And, actually, it just came out today, didn't it? 5 o'clock in the morning for me. Anyways, it's the same build as before, but it's kind of different when it comes to gunplay. But not really. Everything that was in the game that was annoying and or difficult is still there. They just rearranged some of the guns and progression stuff. But this isn't a Battlefield 5 video. This is a World War 2 coming back to video. And from my experience playing a couple of games coming back to it, it's not actually that different with this this model of the the game World War 2 anyways. It's a lot more similar to Black Ops 4 than I thought it would be. Because you have the unlimited sprint, you have the gung-ho perk, you have all the crazy nonsense. And I only really played on Shipment 1944, but it just seems like the craziness of Black Ops 4 is still there in World War 2. Now that they've updated the game to the current version that it is now. I mean, back in early 2017, it was crazy slow. Like, everything was slow about it, but I don't know. It just seems like they modeled this game after uh, Black Ops 4, or the other way around, after the patches and, and whatnot became a, a thing. But anyways, I want to say I like World War II better than Black Ops 4. I don't know if I really do, or if it's just my hatred of specialists that's getting in the way of that, but I sincerely despise the specialist abilities in Black Ops 4, and 3 for that matter, or any of them, Infinite Warfare as well, but that was kind of meh in Infinite Warfare, I didn't really care as much just because they weren't as OP, or well, except for the, like, the dog guy. The robot guy that turned into a like, freaking dog. But that's besides the point. The point is, World War II doesn't have most of that annoying crap. It has a couple things, don't get me wrong, but for the most part, I feel it doesn't have nearly as many objects that clearly are just there to pad out the gameplay. Because in Black Ops 4, you have those specialist abilities, and they're just there to have a free kill for those players that are new to the game. And as an experienced player, I'd like to think, because I've been playing Call of Duty for a very long time, I feel that's kind of cheap. And a lot of other people feel this way. I mean, some people, don't get me wrong, love the specialists. I just do not. And that's okay. I just feel that there should be at least a playlist that gets rid of that. Like, if you remember, Advanced Warfare, when it came out, had a no boost jump playlist with the, the maps on it. I think it only came with, a, maybe it was hardcore? I don't know. But it, it didn't have boost jumps. And I liked that. It was fun. It was kind of slow, but still fun. With the 100... 100 point team deathmatch. It's kind of kind of slow. 
because I was the first one that did that. And I don't know. It, it just seems like Black Ops 4 is definitely not Black Ops 2.5. It's more like a Black Ops 3.1. That's probably a more accurate statement than uh, Black Ops 2.5 because yes it doesn't have boost jumping but no it's not the same as black ops 2 or anything close to that for that matter it's still got the specialist it's still got the the movement system of black ops 3 just without the boost jumps and i actually didn't mind black ops 4 for the most part i enjoyed the gunplay i just didn't like the the fact that you could have a little i don't know what the heck that little shocker drone thing is with the on wheels the little little look like a look like the little camera drone from uh, rainbow six siege is what it was but it shocked it actually you know what they stole that from rainbow six siege there's a there's a guy uh twitch i think it was the all right maybe it was a girl uh twitch had a little shock drone that shocked enemy players on on the terrorist team and <laughs> they totally ripped that off from that game. What the heck? That's that's kind of funny. Okay, so maybe not a direct ripoff because it's remote. It's not remote controlled. It's automated and shocks you and then completely disables your movement unless you press the use key on it for some reason and you just rip the rip off the freaking uh, wires that are shocking you. Just <laughs> Anyways, getting off into a bit of a tangent there. The point is, Black Ops 4 has some really cheap things in it that make the gameplay mm, less than desirable if you play with anything other than a group. But there's nothing we can do about it, because the game's not going to change from this point on. They might nerf some things, but they're not going to go completely away. That being said, Black Ops 3 was my most played game in my Steam library to date with over 550 hours almost 600 probably now it's definitely one of the more played games in my Steam library comparatively so when I say I don't like the specialists it's more I don't like the specialists but I'm okay with them and I guess that Black Ops 4 is probably going to be the same way. If anything, I probably like Black Ops 4 even more than Black Ops 3. And there's something addicting about the, the Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 gameplay. It's It makes you want to hate it, but you can't stop playing it. That's just the thing. I don't know. It, it just seems like that. Anyways, as the game comes to a close here, I just want to show off the class I was using. It is the Orso submachine gun, which I don't see anybody ever using anymore. Probably because it was one of the first DLC weapons that were, they added into the supply drops. And it was with the French Revolution DLC thing that they that they did. I don't know why they don't just like give the base variants away for free. It's kind of silly. I mean, I get that they want money, but... I mean, it'd make people a lot happier if they just gave the base variants away. And then there's always those people that are going to spend all their money uh, getting those variants of them. They don't have to be... Uh, just take the Chinese Call of Duty, for instance. Call of Duty Online. They have the... All of these variants of guns that do absolutely nothing to the weapon. They just look completely different. And people love that. They will eat that up, dude. But Call of Duty, the regular ones, the American ones, are just like, meh, we don't want to do that. We don't, we don't want to do that. So, all I want is to have a fairly decent Call of Duty without them trying to close the skill gap. Because that gets super annoying in games. Take it from Syndrome, when everybody's super no one is yeah that's a incredibles thing anyways thanks for watching and have a wonderful day get high paw get high paw get high paw